even in a time of endless political possibilities, women continually face unprecedented levels of barriers and roadblocks that reduce equitable women participation at the governmental decision-making tables. But despite these challenges, women political Amazons are rising. Women can run for any office, you can win the election, and this is the time for you to stand and fight and go for it. Women must have the courage to come out there to say, I want to contest the elections. Talk, say what you want, say what you don't like, and if you can, get elected and make a difference. It isn't about ego, fame or tokenism. It's about women's right to participate, to showcase leadership capacity and contribute to nation building. Join our march as we strive for gender equity and an increased space for women political inclusion. Shape showcasing her abilities in political engagements. the Nigerian political space have been deficient in nurturing such of a woman from the lack of belief in the woman's leadership capacity to stereotyping to gender imbalance and so many other challenges. All the said, still some Amazons have not detected. This is SHAPE where we showcase her abilities in political engagement. On SHAPE we bring to you women who have actually overcome all challenges thrown at them. And because of that, we must hear the stories. Mm. And I just love the word Amazon. Oh yeah, we do. I mean, when I hear it, it's just this activation of that woman in our warrior in me. Oh my God, I just want to put on my Wakanda thing <laughs> right now and then just go all your, you know, fight. Her. Shame brings to you all shades of Amazons to encourage political inclusion of women and also boost the morale of every female out there who is venturing into politics. This is why Shape is brought to you by Unisys Foundation. We support from you and women. All right, now let's bring to you our best woman of the day. But whatever you are as a woman, don't look down on yourself. Start by not looking down on yourself. Start by, you know, nobody telling you tell that you can't do it. Because you know you can do it. The leadership program at Harvard University, I was only a journalist. Every other person was a prime minister or some top government official, you know, from various countries. I was only a journalist. And there was a challenge thrown back at us that you're from a developing country, what are you going back to do? I knew that I was doing my bit at NTA, but I challenged myself to go a bit further. Prior to that time, I would never ever have thought out, if you tell me about politics, contest elections, I'll say no. But I realized that people tell me, I began, you know what, if you contest elections, you'll succeed. I'll say, no, I can't. But then I just took that decision. By taking the decision, I got in my car, went to Ecology, where I come from went to a, 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 the headquarters of a political party, which was the AD then, asked questions. How do you do it? What goes on here? And I started from the local level, from the grassroots. And thereafter, I started attending the ward meetings, you know. Then I started attending those meetings, and I was also going myself to meet, you know, people at the grassroots level. And I realized that they are the ones that actually participate. You know, so I got involved with them, and I, that's why I said, the, the big question was they were yearning for leadership. And they kept saying, we vote for this, we will never see them again. So I took a decision that I will give this a shot. I took a risk because I could have just lost my job. There's a cultural issue that whichever way you're still a woman. You know, even when I was, after I'd even gotten into parliament, a gentleman looked at me and said, well, I like you, but I can't call a woman my leader. So I, 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 I mean that, and I, and I took him up until he apologized. He made, it made me feel like that, less than a human being. So there are still cultural issues. That's why I said, more well, you need the bind of your family. If your family supports what you're doing, half of the problem is solved. But they still look at you and oh, 
She's just a woman. It's still a problem. It is still a problem. Like somewhere in the East, a lady wanted to come out for governorship and they said, but you can't break cola. So she said, well, I'll appoint somebody who will break the cola. <laughs> Um, violence is very disturbing, you know, when women say, for instance, you have a situation where you have what you call area boys come to you and they want money to buy drugs. And I say to them, I'm not going to encourage you to do that because I don't want to see my children that way. I want to treat you as I would treat my own child. But you know, they don't even appreciate it. But for the men, they don't care. But for a lot of women, and I speak for my other colleagues that I know, we try to say, look, we are mothers. There are things we should not encourage and we will not encourage it. So it's going to get tougher for women. And the environment is getting tougher, but we should not be distracted. The political parties should know that with more women in politics, the better for the system. When the men are shouting fire for fire, we shout water for fire. No, they can do a lot more. In fact, they are leaving women to themselves. They can do a lot more to support women. When I was in parliament, we had more women than now. You have less women in parliament, less women in position. And you know, if, if the women see, see, see the sincerity of the political party, you're going to find a lot of quality women coming out to participate. And I believe that wherever you, you are, you must be successful in your profession, you know, before you go into politics. I, I think so. So whether you're a woman or a man, you should be successful wherever you're coming from. You should have a pedigree, you know? Don't take it out. And that is why there should be no desperation. You should have a pedigree. Where are you coming from? What have you done? And we're moving to a situation where you'll be judged as an individual, not even as party. And then we should move to a situation where democracy will truly be democracy, where people will now judge you based on who you are, where you're coming from, and ask questions. You know, so for women, it's going to get tougher. Let's, let's brace up for that. Shape, showcasing her abilities in political engagement. Host the Shape Roundtable and film screening. Do you feel strongly about any of the women issues raised in the Shape series? Would you like to do something to increase women representation and rights? Would you like to host the Shape Roundtable and film screening with all the females around you? For more information on how to host a Shape Roundtable and film screening, send an email to shape at youngstersfoundation.org or call 0703-5535-876. My oh my, interesting, 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 interesting insight on Abiket W's interview is the fact that we should first see ourselves as individuals, as human beings. Yeah. Before we start thinking about what we are made of, whether we are male or female, yeah. because that way uh, we are all equal. If you see every one of us as individuals, as human beings, regardless of you being a male or a female, then there's what we call equality in the space. Ah, we all said that already. Now, Abiket W has said so many things about her venture into politics. Let's talk about her impact in Nigeria's political space, as well as how she encourages women to join her to be active in politics. Shape, showcasing her abilities in political engagement. I sponsored today the Freedom of Information uh, Bill is now a law in Nigeria. When the, uh, the Diaspora Committee was set up, I was the first German House Committee on Diaspora. We put Diaspora on the first banner. Today there's a Diaspora Commission law in place in Nigeria which are pioneered. You know, the Violence Against Persons Bill, I sponsored it. Today that law is in place. You judge yourself in parliament by the laws you're able to pass. So a law that protects everybody against violence. You know, basically we remember we said persons. I sponsored it. The Freedom of Information Bill, I didn't start it but I ended it because I ensured that I took to, the, to, to, to following that bill through. And today it's a law. So I, the Diaspora Commission Bill, I started it. Today it's a law in Nigeria, so I can look back and say these laws were in place. And then the interventions, especially for girls, you know, girls being raped, girls being denied their rights, that like one was able to stand up for, I'm proud of myself. And then the intervention in case of Nigeria the diaspora, even as SSA to the President, my greatest achievement is that I intervened and ensured that Mr. President took a decision to bring back all Nigerians stranded in Libya. Without playing that role, I don't think we'll be talking about success of 
They've been able to bring that stranded Nigerians from Libya. When I was chairman of the House Committee on Media, I was in opposition party. The speaker made me the spokesperson. And when there were complaints from the ruling party, then that why would an opposition be a spokesperson? Instead, give me somebody better than her. She's doing a great job. And that was it for four years. I remained a spokesperson of the house because the speaker felt I was doing a great job. Well, to all women in Nigeria, I encourage you to get involved in politics. You may or may not be seeking to contest elections, but be part of the process. And it starts from your local level, where you reside, your ward, your local government. Get involved. You should have a voice who will lead you. You should have a voice who will take this shot on your behalf. So even if you're not contesting elections, get involved. Be part of the whole thing. Be part of the process and take a decision. And if you are contesting elections, be realistic with your ambitions and don't give up. You may fail if you try this time around, but life is not about failing. It's about rising when you fall. So um, dare to venture, dare to succeed. If you know it's in you, come out there and give it a shot. We have qualified, competent, hardworking, brilliant Nigerian women. Don't stay in the background. Come out there, let your voice be heard. And for those of us that took the risk of my politics today, our aim is to excel so that you will see us as examples to follow. So we're waiting for you. Join us and be part of politics in your country because you have to be part of the say of how you're governed. How to shape round table and film screening? Do you feel strongly about any of the women issues raised in the SHAPE series? Would you like to do something to increase women representation and rights? Would you like to host a SHAPE roundtable and film screening with all the females around you? For more information on how to host a SHAPE roundtable and film screening, send an email to shape at youngstersfoundation.org or call 0703-5535-876. Now, our Amazon today, Abika Dabri, has just said it all. As a woman, you don't have to be captive of your environment. If you're a woman, first of all, don't see yourself as a female, but as a human being. It doesn't matter what people call you. It doesn't matter what male call you. Just see yourself as a human being. See, see yourself, see other people as your colleagues and your equal. Definitely, yes. All you have to do is see this uh, program shape as a way of re-energizing yourself back into Nigeria's political space and also remember that if you get if you get to pick one or two things from this episode you will know that you can nurture Nigeria back to her original glory to connect with us and stay connected with us you can contact us on our social media pages and tell us how our Amazon today has inspired you we say a big thank you to you and women for your support until next time when we come your way on shape Keep watching SHAPE, showcasing her abilities in political engagement. engagement.